works with water, and I mean everything. This week, we are in one of the driest cities in the world. Yet, here in Marrakech, we have practiced a form of water management which has sustained us throughout the ages. Delegates from across the world are gathering here in Morocco. They will share lessons learned and exchange new perspectives on water and coasts. The GF is gathering here in Morocco to celebrate its uh, transponder portfolio that addresses all the different stresses in marine and freshwater ecosystems. My particular expectation is that we find good points of innovation that can be brought together to help to scale up the impact of the Jeff investments in the international waters area. Those typically are the key drivers. In order to achieve sustainability, um, we need a clear business case, we need good investable entities, a mechanism for capturing return and a good way to manage risk. It's my first time to attend this conference, uh, so I just uh, would like to experience what it is like to be part of the IW community. Now, water and our oceans are demanding more attention. Our world is becoming more thirsty and hungry. The seventh Jeff Replenishment is looking at three different topics that we are going to be addressing through uh, transboundary investments. Blue economy, areas beyond national jurisdiction, and finally, freshwater security. Together, we need to increase resilience, both of the ecosystems and local communities the world over. This is my third uh, uh, International Waters Conference, I think. And I find this conference is quite useful in uh, sharing information from the experiences in my portfolio and also to learn from uh, the experiences uh, in the same projects from other regions. This event is a, is a really key event for us because we bring all our projects together and they get an opportunity to interact with each other. So my expectations are to see exactly how we can support our regional member countries within Africa, in the river basins, but also in the coastal regions on how to scale up investments in transboundary waters. The global environment is uh, under serious threats, among others from climate change. Uh, that's why it's extremely important that we, from the GF side, within our transboundary water portfolio, is increasing ecosystem resilience that's going to lead to human prosperity and economic growth. On our first day, we receive a very big welcome from our Secretary of State in charge of sustainable development, the Honorable Nezhal Wafi. She explained that the conference enjoys the highest patronage of His Majesty the King Mohammed VI to all participants. Morocco is watching with eager eyes what this conference will bring to the world. I welcome you to this ninth biannual Jeff's International Waters Focal Area Conference, which is being held this year in the beautiful city of Marrakesh, here under the high patronage of the King, His Majesty the King Mohammed VI. Now we had a chance to learn more about progress in the International Waters Focal Area. 
International Waters Conference of GEF is uh, part of GEF's commitment to exchange experiences across the different GEF projects, better and more sustainably managing international waters, both freshwater and marine. Luckily, I think, this is where the International Waters Conference comes in, as a breath of fresh air, allowing us all to focus on learning and take deep dives into specific projects, network, and most importantly of all, talk. And I would like to say that without such conferences and the role of science, it will be very difficult to maintain the life-supporting functions of, of the environment. I don't know, has anybody opened their book, uh, their program book? Do you know what's in the middle? There's a results framework. How many people go to conferences or learning events where there's a results framework in the middle? And with the IWLearn team setting its intention, they are quite immediately strengthening their own ability to help you retain what you're doing here. I ask all of you, have the courage of your convictions. Have the courage to change when you feel change is necessary. Thank you very much for being different. After a short break, views were shared between policymakers and leaders in the international waters area on sustaining cooperation. I think that the conclusion is that the international focal areas is doing just great. <laughs> and, <laughs> and <laughs> fantastic gathering here, uh, over 300 people, is the demonstration of the interest that you as the IW stakeholders put in this uh, specific uh, issue. One thing we have learned over the last two decades is this. Cooperation is absolutely critical if we are going to manage our waters globally and locally. The GF projects rely on a very important planning tool, the TDA SAP. To plan properly, we need to analyze first. I'd first start with the what does TDA SAP mean? It's the Transboundary Diagnostic Analysis and Strategic Action Program. We have uh, made a cheat sheet that we'll hand out. Um, in case you don't want to read the entire strategy, I think of course you should. But uh, this will give you a good idea when you sit uh, coming up with projects and ideas for us. So how to engage them? What are your experiences? What are the challenges? How can we do this better? Much discussion followed on TDA SAP. What is important now is to get more traction that will lead to implementation. In the evening, Her Excellency Nez Halwafi again graced us with her presence. Once again, she extended a warm welcome. It was not long before all participants were enjoying themselves. But did we learn anything? The entire day was really, really great, but the science cafes at the end of the day were the highlight where there was a lot of brainstorming and looking at both challenges and solutions. Day one concluded well, but the fun and learning has only started. Day two. On day two, we set off for the Mohammed VI Museum for the Water Civilization in Morocco. The most important landmark in Marrakesh for anyone who is interested in water. The first event was the shark tank. No, no, wait, this is the wrong movie. 
Oh no! Wow! I didn't mean using teeth, but something equally as sharp. The mind. So this morning we're going to have a shark tank. It's, uh, it's uh, first off, there's a lot of virgin sharks in the panel, but I think it's going to be marvelous. It's a dynamic set of sharks. Now, intense networking commenced. Partnerships in scaling up community-based EW water management toward a gender protocol for the TDA SAP process. Using planning tools for the TDA SAP development, environmental pressures and investment solutions using the TDA SAP. Then, some of us enjoyed a technical site visit to a project funded by the GEF. Here, we see a very innovative solution to the energy crisis. After a long day, nothing is as good as afternoon tea in a secret garden where there is peace of mind, a little island in the dynamic city of Marrakesh. Today was excellent. I really enjoyed the water museum very much. The fog capturing uh, technology was really amazing. And also to learn a lot about history and culture uh, of water in Morocco. It's been a great day, actually. Yeah, we, we started out, well, today we've been at the water museum and had some, some very good sessions. And also a fantastic tour of the museum, cherishing the, the knowledge of water. And I think that's a great thing that they're actually, yeah, capturing the tradition in Morocco and some old and new technology and knowledge about water. And then of course we had the city tour with, uh, and to see some parts of Marrakesh was really nice. It is day three. On this day, we brought our minds together. On this day, our minds overcome technological glitches. Focus, focus, focus. We live in a very different world today, so there's uh, no need for us to do uh, international waters projects uh, like it was 30 years ago. So one of the things we can do is to try and take advantage of a range of new disruptive technologies that we have at our disposal. Technologies that can help us produce things better with uh, 3D printing and uh, robotics and uh, different types of automation and technologies that help us interact better through uh, looking at uh, ways of uh, using our global networks to work with each other better. It was all about new practices and tools, test driving, sharing ideas. After all, this is why they call it IW Learn. This uh, conference was amazing. I think it's a huge opportunity to learn about each brother, so the different projects of different parts of the world. A good day, uh, sort of uh, manning our, uh, our booth, uh, presenting the virtual reality, providing a solution to the industrial skills gap. And uh, yeah, too far? Too long? No, no, it's not too long. It's a bit painful. Oh, yeah. And we're employing a range of uh, very innovative solutions to do that. One of them is virtual reality. So the same way how a pilot learns how to like fly a plane, uh, for us, uh, water managers learn how to operate a wastewater treatment plant. In the clinic, everyone has a chance to speak and to learn. 
When it comes to networking, it is all about getting the news out. That means communicating your project's results. The conference has been a great opportunity to demonstrate the, the model that we use in the Global Marine Commodities Project. We have two main emphases, one to facilitate national dialogue with different stakeholders and also to harness investment from the private sector to fund national action plans and to fund fishery improvement projects. Today, there is no top-down approach as participants lead decisions, but it is not only about ideas. It's about sharing technical know-how such as marine spatial planning. This morning's uh, sessions on disruptive technology were quite exciting. Um, I really appreciated the focus on the bottom-up technologies and the fact that we're now in a world where there's lots of cheap and sen cheap sensors and uh, in this Internet of Things idea and how we could be using that for really capturing monitoring evaluation of our Jeff projects. And now, on the third day of EWC9, it is time to ask an important question. Did you make any new friends? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. No. Oh, I made a lot of friends here. <laughs> Several new friends. All of my friends are here. This is the seventh uh, International Waters Conference I've been to, and I've reacquainted myself with many friends and uh, colleagues. And it's been a, a pleasure to make new friends as well, adding to this. Remember, new ideas can change the world, but only if they are shared. We learned that there's a lot of data sets out there and now the question is how do we use that to inform our projects and, and better decision making. Today was um, extremely interesting because it was really focused on supporting the projects and all the participants. The breakout groups. <laughs> <laughs> there was a fantastic session on economic valuation which had tremendous feedback and everybody wanted more information. So that was really valuable. There were a number of exciting presentations today, but uh, the key item of today was the clinics. Ready, Thank set, you. go. So today we had... Look at me. Today we had clinics. Uh, I'm the camera. And... Uh, I start from in, the beginning again. I'm the camera. And for the fisheries uh, clinic, we even had a game which was very uh, entertaining and kept us, you know, uh, engaged. So it was a very productive day. Thank you. <laughs> this is our chance to determine future trajectories that will make our home, planet Earth, a better place. So, let's get into gear and find those solutions for sustainability. Day four. This was the final day of the International Waters Conference, EWC9. But wait, let us just reflect briefly on what happened the night before. It was the gala event. down to business right away by introducing the need to adapt to the changing world of our oceans and coasts and freshwater basins. Nature-based solutions are absolutely essential for sustainable economic development. And it's not about either green or gray, it's green and gray. And it's often the best blend of solutions that really solve a problem. 
So the blue economy, I mean, is, is, is a huge potential for what we're doing in the international water strategy. I mean, we know that by 2030, it's expected that ocean-based economic activities are going to double. So this is great, but we can't go business as usual. That means more pressure to the ocean ecosystems. So we need to redefine the, the narrative behind what is the blue economy and make it really, truly sustainable. Some of that involves changing our behavior and using less. Some of it is going to involve capital investment across the globe, which is where financial institutions like the European Investment Bank come in. Blue economy is a unique opportunity for moving the environmental agenda forward. We will be able to demonstrate that healthy ocean and healthy environment is a sine qua non condition for generating socio-economic benefits. Again, participants had to put their minds together. I think it's important to consider in, not only in this case the economic value but also um, the environmental value as well as the social one. How do we engage the local communities and people to support the blue economy implementation at a local community level? The ideas kept flowing and now participants led workshops on circular economy nature-based solutions. However, two parameters. If we reduce the amount of water, we decline both. And if we temperature increase, we accelerate the rate. the best areas in terms of cost and in terms of connectivity uh, to be included in the green and blue infrastructure. This is my first time, Jeff, and it has been a fantastic experience to hear all the projects that are around the world, how people have uh, approaching different ways to address important challenges that we have. Networking has been also very uh, good also to learn on how people in other areas of the world have integrated their TDAs and have integrated their SACs. Uh, it has been a lot and uh, it was wonderful. Especially my learnings on the blue economy, my learnings on the marine spatial planning and lots of other things which I'm taking back home and would be discussing with my colleagues and our partners in the region. I've been really intrigued to be able to meet people who are working in different river basins around the world and different marine ecosystems and seeing the opportunities for exchange of lessons and particularly around the development of these strategic action programs. Then came the time to hand out prizes. We finally conclude with closing remarks by Chris Sevran of the GEF International Waters Portfolio. But locally partnerships do not weigh anything. There's something we have here and here. And so please take those with you home. And I know there's been a lot of them. I've seen them happen and, and that's really fantastic. And Rashid Ferradi for the Moroccan government. Je voudrais vous dire à cet effet, gardons cet esprit qui, que nous avons consacré ici à Marrakech. Un esprit de collaboration, de partage et de solidarité pour continuer à œuvrer ensemble pour la durabilité des écosystèmes marins, d'eau douce et de contribuer ainsi à l'atteinte des objectifs de développement durable que nous nous sommes fixés ensemble dans le cadre de l'agenda 2030. This IW conference 
has shown that after 18 years, the portfolio is in really good shape and continues to be. Uh, evaluations of previous conferences show and demonstrate that uh, these meetings are helping to build partnerships across agencies, between projects from source to sea, to replicate each other's experience and improve the management of their individual projects. And I want to thank everybody who worked really hard to make this happen. To all the agencies that came here, it's fantastic to see so many IW stakeholders. It's a real family gathering, but not only the family, because every time we have new people coming, new agencies, new partners, and that's absolutely great. We have had a tremendous outcome. There are like 340 people meeting here, taking time out of the daily schedules that are packed with other things to learn about each other's work and to be inspired. It has been uh, one of the best experiences this year for me and I, I really treasure this and I'm looking forward to the next time we meet in your guide. Thank you so much. There is no doubt that once again, with the help of all participants, that the International Waters Project Sarena moved forward. I'm Nasira Hayati and I want warmly to thank you for coming to Morocco. National Water Conference was a great success. Let's continue to work together to make our planet more sustainable. Okay.